Hey guys, Eric here. Thanks for drawing with me today. Today I am going to show you how to draw a Krabby Patty from Spongebob. Check it out. Let's get started. All you need is a piece of paper and something to draw with. <laughs> Let's start off with our bottom bun. Draw the side and then make a wide curving shape. Follow that shape on the top with a little bit of texture. And then another line to give our bun some dimension. We're already onto our burger patty. We only need to draw the sides. Then we're going to add the cheese on top. You can do this however you'd like. I'm going to have a few slices layered on top of each other. Notice how I'm adding that extra line to give it dimension and look 3D. Now I've already moved on to our onion slices. Notice how I used the onion slice to cover the top of the cheese so I don't have to draw it all? It makes it a lot easier. Now we'll use that same trick to draw our tomato slices. They're going to be a little bit thicker, and you'll see it from the side. For our lettuce, I'm going to use almost scraggly shapes. And then we're going to wrap it all up by putting our bun on top. The Krabby Patty is distinct for having a really tall bun, but you could make it a little bit shorter or whatever shape you'd like. Notice how I've separated my lettuce into a few different sections? Now I'm also just going back to add a few dashes and dots to give a little texture to everything. I'm just going to add a little more texture to our burger patty, and then I'll finish it off by adding some sesame seeds to the top of our bun. Nice! Now I know I moved kind of quickly in that section of the video. But don't forget, you can always pause and rewind if it's moving too fast for you. And don't forget to stick around for this next section, guys. I'm going to show you the easiest way to color this in and make it look really good. And I'm also going to have some interesting facts to tell you. So what I'm going to color in first is the center of my bun. I'm going to start using my lightest color to make sort of a circular shape that follows the shape of the bun. Then I'll move on to my next darkest color, which is slightly darker yellow. And then onto orange. And notice here how I can use my lighter colors to help shade and blend in the different shades. And now we're just finishing up with our darkest brown. And I'm just adding a little shadow under each sesame seed. And I'm basically going to repeat the exact same process for the lower bun, just long, skinny shapes instead. Did you know that in New York, there's a food truck that offers a $666 burger? It's made with a Kobe beef patty wrapped in gold leaf, foie gras, caviar, lobster, truffles, and imported cheeses, which are melted in champagne steam. Honestly, I don't even know if that sounds good. Now we're just about done with our bottom bun. Next up, we're gonna do the cheese. Notice how I'm gonna use my darker yellow first to do the edges and the shadows under where the onions are. Then just fill the rest in with our lighter yellow. we'll make some of those shadows just a little bit darker. Next up we'll be coloring in our onions. Did you know the onion was worshipped by ancient Egyptians? And they used to cover the tombs of their rulers with pictures of onions. Huh. I'm going to be putting red onions on my burger. I don't know why they call them red onions. I think they look more purple. Anyways, just get some bluish and purple shade on your onions, and I'll show you how to blend those in in just a little bit. And the tomato should be pretty easy, guys, right? I'm just going to come in with a little bit darker shade of red on the sides and the top to make a shadow. The first tomatoes in Europe were yellow varieties, and the Italian word for tomato, pomodoro, actually translates to golden apple. 
I'm going to start my lettuce by drawing a darker shade just around the edges and on some of my little crinkle lines. And then just fill and blend everything with a lighter color. Now we're ready to fill in our Krabby Patty. We're going to fill it up using a similar technique to how we did the bun, especially the bottom bun. So start with a lighter shade of brown, work your way up to darker colors till you get to your very darkest brown around the edge. And don't be afraid to make it nice and textured. According to the series animator Vincent Waller, there is absolutely no meat in the Krabby Patty. And the voice actor Tom Kenny, who does the voice of Spongebob, has joked that Krabby Patties are hummus. What do you think? So we're just about done coloring. Now we're going to move on to my favorite step where we put some highlights on and make everything look really cool. And guys, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell. Alright guys, now I'm going to be using a white marker to make some highlights. If you don't have a white marker, a colored pencil will work just fine. You can hit a little dash on your poppy seeds, follow the outline of certain shapes, See I'm adding the tomato seeds, a little bit of highlights on the lettuce, make that cheese look nice and shiny, and I'm also going to use the white to blend in our onion and make it look less choppy. Some dashes and dots on your hamburger patty, whatever it's made out of, will make it stand out and show the texture, and just follow along the shape of your bun. All right, I think this looks great. I would say we're just about done. But don't forget guys, do what that thing says.